Good morning to the year four. Happy Thursday. I am going to share your morning fluency slides with you. And as you can see here, again, in our subtraction, we're going to be dealing with some negative numbers. And in our reasoning question here, I'll just enlarge that for you. So you can pause it now. Again, we're going to be doing ordering negative numbers. Think carefully about which one is lowest in value. Would it be negative one that's right next to zero or negative 100? Would you rather go outside when it's negative one degrees or negative 100 degrees? And it's the same for positive temperatures. Would you rather go outside on a summer's day if it was just one degree or would you like to go out when it's 25 degrees? Think about that when you're ordering your temperatures here. Again, I've given you your related facts for this question. Today's word of the day is pragmatic. So same as usual, see if you can find a synonym and an antonym. See if you can find out what the definition of pragmatic means and then see if you can use it in a sentence. Pause the video here because I'm going to put the answers to the morning fluency slides up now. Okay, so let's have a look at our negative numbers again. One minus four, one take away four. I'm gonna start on one and I need to subtract four. One, two, three, four. I'm now into our negative numbers because the value is below zero. So one take away four equals negative three. Remember it's negative three and not minus three. Okay. I've also got here 50 divided by five equals 10 because 10 lots of five equal 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that means 500 divided by five equal 100. I'm going to explain the reasoning question on this slide here. So in the middle here, we have zero degrees. That's our neutral. Okay. Then let's go right down to our lowest, negative 24 degrees. So that's 24 degrees away from zero. And my 13 degrees would be a little bit closer to zero. And then I could count negative 10, negative 9, right up until negative 1, and then zero. Then, very similar, but now with positive numbers, 21 degrees would be somewhere over here and past that 35 degrees. So my lowest temperature is negative 24 and my hottest temperature is 35. As a challenge X, can you work out the difference between my hottest and my lowest temperatures? I'd be really impressed. Daily timetable for Thursday. Obviously you've got your morning fluency now and then we have SPAG and maths. In maths, we're looking at efficient methods of multiplication. So there won't be the most complicated questions, but it's how you get there. So you need to really pay, pay close attention, think about the strategies that you could use instead of just using the short multiplication method every time. After break, I would like you to choose some form of mindful activity, or yoga or drawing or coloring. And then you have English, where we're going to be right, starting to write our adaptations of Beowulf. And then you have your re-theory before lunch. In science, it's going to be your practical lesson. You're going to be testing um, how strong the different 3D shapes are by putting various masses, uh, various objects of, of mass on there. And then in RE, you're going to be... Um, learning about the different birthing ceremonies and naming ceremonies um, within the Islamic religion. So hopefully a nice, fun, positive day. Enjoy it. Bye-bye.